Honorable Ministers, distinguished guests, excellencies and participants, good morning and many thanks. I'm Andrew Norton, um, I'm Director of the International Institute for Environment and Development, IIED, in London. I've been in that post for less than a year, so this is my first um, CBA conference. In fact, it's my first full stop, and it's also my first visit to Bangladesh. I'm delighted to be here. It's a great pleasure to be here. IID has played a lead role in all 10 CBAs, and I would like to pay tribute to the extraordinary energy, indefatigable determination of Dr. Salim al Haq um, in having played a leadership role in all 10. Um, in it makes me tired just to think about it, to be honest, but it is an incredible achievement. And things have really been achieved here. Agendas have been changed. Um, concepts and mental models have evolved. Um, so that's extraordinary. One of the great things that struck me since starting as IIED director has been the great emphasis within IIED on values of partnership. Partnership with many institutions globally, but particularly institutions in the Global South. And I think CBA embodies the spirit of that, um, maybe more than any other single activity that um, IAD has been engaged with. It's been an extraordinary contribution to us, as well as to the global knowledge base on climate change and on climate change adaptation. Other speakers have spoken about the extraordinary things that happened in 2015. Um, the first globally, legally binding um, treaty on climate change, the Paris Agreement, which is a huge step forward. The fact that we now have a framework of global development goals that puts sustainability up alongside human development as, um, it, well, even arguably as the main paradigm of development going forward, um, which is extraordinary. But these things, these global processes, are only a start. Well, they, they come, they build on the work of others, including the work of everyone involved here and the work of the communities um, that we address or that we engage with through CBA. So it was a great benchmark, a great point in the process, but many things need to happen to make it real. National plans, local plans, local engagement needs to achieve a reality that it is not up to now. And flows of finance need to be available and need to be available in the local space in ways which are accountable to local people, where, if you like, adaptation really happens at the community level. There is much work still to do, notwithstanding the fact that 2015 um, took us a long way forward from where we were before that. So it's a good time to take stock and think also about the future of CBA after the 10 um, CBA conferences that have been held, and we'll be doing that in the course of the coming days. I'd like to say also, like the other speakers, a few words about the urban agenda, which I think is very timing, timely, Ur building urban resilience as the theme for this CBA conference. In 2010, um, I had the privilege of working with Professor Caroline Moser in some research in Mombasa in Kenya. Many of the themes looking through the agenda for the conference resonate from that experience. What are the unique characteristics of the politics of the local space in an urban context? How do people assert their, their recognition as citizens in that space, which in itself is a challenge for many, many people, poor urban residents? Um, there was also the, what I remember vividly was the chronic impacts of regular flooding driven or made worse incrementally by climate change. Um, this isn't something that would hit the headlines like a big cyclone, but businesses, schools and homes were regularly disrupted. So it's not the kind of extremes that makes headlines, but still has a massive impact on local livelihoods. So there's this kind of chronic and incremental change, as well as extreme weather events and other things that people have referred to that we need to keep in sight. These impacts, as I'm sure everyone here is aware, um, are, are very great and there are many parts of the world where the awareness is not what it would be in this room about the growing impacts of climate change and the challenge that people face. 
Building resilience is important, and I agree with other speakers also that we need to take a positive view of the capacity of people to respond. But that response needs to be enabled by a global system that enables it. I'd like to say a quick word of thanks also to our colleagues in IAED, both in the Climate Change Group, but also the Human Settlements Group, who've worked hard to put this together and who will be playing a lead role in the coming days. Um, our Human Settlements Group has decades of learning and experience working alongside um, social movements, local partners in the urban environment and on issues of climate change, but also urban poverty and urban governance. And I think that shows in the richness of the programme, and I'm greatly looking forward to the sessions. I started by talking about the importance in the values and culture of IID of partnership. Um, this is a moment also to recognise the special partnership that we have with ICAD, with the International Centre for Climate Change and Development, based here at the IUB in Bangladesh. This is a special case for us. Um, we will be looking to develop a strategic partnership with ICAD over the coming years, but also hopefully to use that as a model which um, IAED and others can use in other situations as well, to develop capacity in the least developed countries to engage from the local to the global on climate action. So many thanks. Um, I'm looking forward to learning. I'm looking forward to learning more about the role of communities in urban resilience, but looking forward also to looking at the ways in which we can build systems and policies from the local to the global through the national level, which provide enabling conditions um, in terms of finances delivered in the right way, but also in terms of rights and recognition for poor urban communities to address the challenges of climate change. Many thanks.